earlier you mentioned you think about your past life and what's one thing that you wish maybe could have happened differently? Um, I think appreciating my mother, mm. her hardships. I guess after she passed, I started to reflect and say, oh, okay, that's what she went through. That's why, you know, that's why she, you know, because you don't have that knowledge until you're older and you go through things yourself. Mm. And then it starts to put things in perspective. perspective. Yeah. You know? How long have you lived in New York City for? My whole life. Your whole Born life. and raised. Wow. What's your heritage? Japanese, Scottish, French, and English. My mother was born in Hawaii, and my father was born in Savannah, Georgia. And they met during the war. My father was stationed at Schofield Barracks, and my mother was a waitress, so the, the army personnel would often go to the restaurant. And she was serving him. Yeah, yeah. And then one day he asked her out on a date or something? No, they were just friends. And then years later, my uncle, who came to New York City, opened up a restaurant, and my mother was available. Mm. So her father sent her. In the meantime, as my father told me, his brother asked him to come to New York City. And one of them was coming out of the subway, and they ran into each other no, again. No, really? It's destined. Wow. And that's how they met again, and then they started dating. So they had met in Hawaii when he was a soldier yeah. yes. in the Army. Yes. And then they bumped each other randomly on a subway yeah. in New York. Destiny. And they were just like, what are you doing here? Yeah. And all that stuff, and then just began a courtship then. Yeah. Wow. And how did you meet your current husband? Uh, actually, you... similar. Okay. We used to date. And then we split up and one day I came home from work and I was debating whether to bring something to the dry cleaners and my husband who moved back into the neighborhood in East Village was on the avenue and we ran into each other again. <laughs> and what did you do in New York? I used to work for the phone company, New York Telephone at the time. Okay. Were you like an operator or something? No, sort? no, no. I was a uh, actually motor vehicle coordinator because I had a big fleet. Oh, I thought maybe you were an operator or something. You have a very nice voice. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you. Do that? Mm, you know, when I used to work at a phone company, because I used to speak to a lot of people yeah. on the phone, they used yeah. to, I guess, but they had a different image of what I looked like. Sure, you sound you American. Know. Yeah, or Caucasian. Caucasian. <laughs> and uh, they were surprised <laughs> yeah. when they actually saw me. Right. You know. Are you are you happy? I think yeah, I'm generally happy. Yeah, I think so. And I think I have a lot to be happy for in many ways compared to a lot of you know what's going on in the world and suffering worldwide. And I think we always have to look at it that way, to look at things in perspective. In my my uh, youth when all these magazines started coming out about self, it's called self and all this and it was so much about oneself and I think it's important to think about things in the context of ourselves in relationship with the world, you know. I'm actually impressed by young people these days and what they've accomplished, <laughs> you know. So. They seem to be much more worldly and in many ways more ethically inclined than I remember <laughs> myself as a child. Yeah. I mean, in our day, we were altruistic, but I don't know if I would say, and maybe this was my group, as involved in the world and what's going on in the world. Earlier, you mentioned you think about your past life and what's one thing that you wish maybe could have happened differently? I think appreciating my mother, hmm. her hardships. I guess after she passed, you know, and I started to miss her more. Yeah. I started to reflect and say, oh, okay, that's what she went through. That's why, you know, that's why she, you know, because you don't have that knowledge until you're older and you go through things yourself. Mm. And then it starts to put things in perspective. perspective. Yeah. You know? If you could tell her one thing and she could hear it right now, what would you say? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I wish I could make things better. Mm. Yeah. What do you think she would say? She would probably be understanding and say, it's okay. Yeah. You know? Oh, and that I love her. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right. Well, thank you. Well, thank you, Thanks Eric. Thanks for speaking you with know. me. Have a good day. Yeah, thank you for uh, what made you come back. I just
support you. You just felt bad for me? I'll take it. I don't take pity any day. <laughs> I like to support the Asian. Oh, yes, for sure.